So, how's it going today, everybody? Uh, so today we're making a blackberry uh, cheesecake, and we'll start off with some of our basic ingredients, and we're going to start off with our blackberries, of course. Then we'll move on to do um, to bake our cheese, actually, out of some ingredients and with our, our cake, our natural rising flour. So what we're going to want to do is we're going to go ahead and start making the base of this cake, and we'll start making this a small bowl. And so what we'll go ahead and do is just take our egg, go ahead and put it in. We have about a cup of sugar. We'll go ahead and take that, pour that on in. And we'll take our electric whisk. We're going to want to whisk this for about three to five minutes. All right, so we have our cake bit, uh, base all set up. As you can see, it's got a very nice kind of paste consistency to it. I'm going to go ahead and add our flour in, our dry ingredients to go ahead and solidify that a bit. Go ahead and put it gradually. And go ahead and do that until uh, you can't see any more of the flour. And then the cake base is all finished. So now we're going to go ahead and actually make our own cheese uh, for this cheesecake. And what we're going to do is we're going to use 16 ounces of cream cheese, and these are both 8 ounces, so we'll use the entirety of this. Uh, we'll use about half a cup of uh, sour cream and then a quarter cup of our whipping cream. So we'll go ahead and start combining it into this bowl, and then once it's all mixed, we'll whisk it all together, and then we'll have our cheese. So we'll whisk this for a while until it's completely smooth, and then we're ready to go ahead and put it on the cake once the base is done. So here is uh, two cups of blackberries, and then about a third a cup of powdered sugar. Now what we're going to do is going to use the magic bullet here and we're going to blend all this together so we'll go ahead and dump the powdered sugar in. So what we'll do is that now that our cake base is ready we're going to go ahead and take about half of this and just pour and just scoop it out and pour it onto the very surface. Okay so here we have a nice layer of, res of uh, blackberries rather on the very top, and now we're going to go ahead and start putting in our cream cheese. And the thickness is totally personal preference. You don't actually have to use all of this. You can, but you don't have to. If you just prefer a bit more cake and a bit less cheese, you can just always do not the whole thing. You can save some for maybe another recipe, or you can go ahead and just do everything right there. So here is our cake with the cheese on top of it now. As you can see, it's spread all the way out as evenly as possible. And so what I've done now is I've taken the rest of our blackberries, I've put them in just a Ziploc bag, and I've snipped off the top, or the corner rather, and uh, what we're going to do is we're going to make a spiral. So we'll start in the center. Okay, and then what you can do is to make the spider, so you can take a toothpick, right? but for this I'm just going to use a knife. What we'll do is we'll start in the center, we'll kind of run lines. This is just a really kind of creative way of making just a bit of a design to it. And so now the next step, once we've finished that, as you can see, even mine's not very perfect at all, that we'll go ahead and put it in the fridge and we'll let it cool for about an hour or so and then we'll move it out and take off the bottom and we're ready to serve. So here we are all done. As you can see, this is the web uh, is a bit hard to do, but um, it's been sitting in the fridge for about an hour or so, so everything is all set. Uh, and to finish it off, you can go ahead and put blackberries and a sprig of mint on the top, and you're ready to serve. Thanks for watching.